This is how to place electrodes for a 12 lead EKG. There are 10 electrodes total. Six of them are chest or precordial electrodes and the other four are limb electrodes. We're going to begin by palpating the fourth intercostal space on the right side of the sternum. Once there, clean the area with an alcohol pad followed by an abrasive pad to remove any extra epidermis and oil on the skin. Then place your first electrode on that spot. Second, palpate for the fourth intercostal space on the left side of the sternum. Again, clean the spot with an alcohol pad followed by an abrasive pad. And place the second electrode on that spot. Next, palpate for the fifth intercostal space that's in line with the midclavicular line and clean the area with an alcohol pad and abrasive pad and place the fourth electrode. Next, find the midway in between the second and fourth electrodes. Clean the area with an alcohol pad, followed by an abrasive pad, and place the third electrode. Next, horizontal to the fourth electrode, and in line with the anterior axillary line, find the spot, clean it with an alcohol pad and an abrasive pad, and place the fifth electrode. And lastly, find the mid axillary line and the spot that is horizontal to the fourth and fifth electrode. Clean it with the alcohol pad and the abrasive pad and place the sixth and final chest electrode. The limb leads begin with the right arm where you will find the area right above the wrist. Clean it with an alcohol pad followed by the abrasive pad and on this arm you will place the ABR electrode. Next, on the other side, on the left arm, you find the area right above the wrist once again, clean it with the alcohol pad, followed by the abrasive pad, and this time place the ABL electrode. The process is continued with the legs. Here, right above the ankle, you are going to clean the spot followed by the abrasive pad and on the left leg you're going to place the ABF electrode. On the other leg you're going to clean right above the ankle again followed by the abrasive pad and place the ground electrode. The ground electrode goes on the right leg. Three of the limb leads and the six chest leads are considered unipolar leads. All nine of these are part of the 12 EKG system. However, the ground electrode is not one of these leads. In addition to the unipolar leads, there are three bipolar leads. Lead one, lead two, and lead three. Lead one begins with the right arm on AVR, which is negative and continues to the left arm, ABL, which is positive. Lead two begins with ABR, once again on the right arm, which is negative, and continues to the left leg, ABF, which is positive. The third and final bipolar lead begins with the ABL, which is negative in this case, and extends down 
to the left foot at ABS, which is positive. Exercising, instead of having electrodes on the wrists and ankles, we are moving them onto the torso. However, just like the resting EKG, the six chest leads remain in the same spots. To begin with the limb leads, moving them onto the torso, we start on the right side, locating the clavicle and palpating the area right below it, which is called the infraclavicular fossa. We start by cleaning this area with an alcohol pad and following it with an abrasive pad, and then placing the AVR electrode. Similarly, on the left side, we begin by finding the clavicle, then locating the infraclavicular fossa. You clean this with an alcohol pad, then an abrasive pad, and place the AVL electrode. Then, continuing lower on the torso, we are going to place the AVF and the ground electrodes. To begin, we find the area right above the hip and right below the ribs, the spot that's right in, right in between. You clean with an alcohol pad and the abrasive pad. On the left side of the body, you place the AVF electrode. And then on the right side, once you've repeated the process again, finding the area in between the hip and the rib cage, you clean with an alcohol pad and the abrasive pad and place the ground electrode on the right side. Just like the resting EKG, there are nine individual leads in addition to lead one, lead two, and lead three, which finish out the 12 EKG system. The reason we move the electrodes from the arms and legs onto the torso during exercise is to reduce the electrical artifact that's introduced by limb movement. In addition to this, it is much easier for the patient and safer to move the electrodes onto the torso to prevent the wires from getting in the way of their moving limbs. The last step to the EKG setup is hooking up the wires. So for each electrode, you connect a wire. And once you're finished, all of the wires are hooked up to an EKG machine, which will give you your final recording.